Hey guys, uh, I'm Ethan Moore from Stockroom Supply and today we're going to do something. I got a question from a gentleman who is sanding um, picture frames. Now I didn't have a picture frame, um, I have a raised panel door which is very similar in a lot of ways, but he was concerned or had a question about cross grain scratches. How to eliminate, how to get rid of cross grain scratches with the Flatmaster drum sander. Now, like any drum sander or belt sander, anything that sands in a straight line, pretty much regardless of what you do, you're going to get cross grain scratches. Um, and that's just the way it is. Now there's a couple things that we can do that are going to alleviate that. But first thing, let me sand this panel. Um, this is still, this is just an old raised panel I have laying around. Let me sand it and I'll show you what I'm talking about with a cross grain scratch. Okay. Well, I don't got quite all the finish out of it here, but you can see there's a bit of a, this panel has a tiny bit of a twist where it's got a low spot here and then the rest of it is quite high. So, but if we get nice and close, right here you can see it pretty well. Um, this is a 120 grit piece of sandpaper. Um, I'm getting out of the shadow here. There you can see hopefully a cross grain scratch where, um, I don't know if the shadow is good or bad. Um, but you can see that cross grain scratch going across that cross grain. Now when I put a finish on it, if I left it right like that there, that piece, because we've tore open that grain, is going to absorb finish and stains a lot better than this right here. So, a um, couple things to note though. With the Flat Master, you can sand very fine um, without having to worry about loading the sandpaper. So I could sand that cross grain all the way up to like a 220 grit with a 2000 scratch and that's going to really essentially eliminate that cross grain scratch but um one suggestion i always make when you're sanding a frame or a panel and this is true with any drum sander even beyond the flat master is if you put your piece through on a bit of an angle um, that's going to help balance out that scratch so that the rail or the style is not going to have the entire brunt of the cross grain. But if we go on an angle, Okay. I still got the low spot there, so maybe I'll finish this right up. Let me do a few passes, but you can see how that scratch is going now on an angle. Let me do a few passes, make sure I got all this totally flat here, and I'll show you the finished product. Okay, so that's all nicely flattened. I got all that finish removed from the rails and the styles there. But then, yeah, if you look at that, rather than that scratch going right across here, if you go on an angle, that's going to make it much easier to remove that cross grain so that when you put a finish on there, that's going to look consistent regardless if it's a rail or a style here. Um, so, yeah, there's your piece right there. That's just a piece of red oak. But that's just a little bit of a tip for you, whether you have a flat master drum sander or a regular drum sander or a wide belt, sometimes putting your pieces through on an angle makes a big difference. So yeah, if anybody else has any questions, you can email me at info at stockroomsupply.com or just comment on the video. Now, if you want to see future videos, make sure you subscribe 
and hit the little bell button because that will alert you when a new video gets posted. Thank you much.